Okay, so this is my project on Palmyra High School, which is located in Palmyra, Pennsylvania. Also, um, obviously where I grew up and where I currently live. So a quick background on the town of Palmyra. It was first established in 1717 by um, James Palm and was first originally called Palmstown. Um, as of 2010, the population census was just over 7,000. But the school district is also composed of a village called Campbelltown. And most people in Campbelltown have a Palmyra address. And, but there's about 4,000 people living in Campbelltown. So all in all, it's probably like 11,000. But in recent years, um, over the past decade, it has been rapidly growing. So the population has definitely increased by then. So this is just an estimate. Um, the town is most known for its sinkholes in Bologna. And so I added a picture of Baloney, which was also featured on Dirty Jobs with Mike Rowe a couple years ago. And that sinkhole on the left is the most reoccurring sinkhole. It's huge and caused major problems to the roads. Um, here's a little background about the high school. There's about 1,200 people that attend the high school, and there's about... 3,247 people that in total of the school district. The high school was first opened in 1963. There's a 17 to 1 student to teacher ratio and it's one of the best high schools in the state um, on test scores such as like Keystone testing or PSSAs and we have really successful sports and a lot of our teachers are ranked highly qualified. One person I decided to interview was um, my field hockey coach, Chrissy Costello. She graduated from Palmyra in 2003 and went to play field hockey at Wake Forest. And then she decided to come back and serve as her head field hockey coach um, for about nine years. She recently stepped down and is now a volunteer coach as she wants to stay home a little bit more for her young kids. But she is um, a current teacher at the high school as well. So when I interviewed her, I asked her about um, academics and athletics, and she said, I think there are so many opportunities for kids to study what they want. There are so many AP level classes that some kids can leave Palmyra with a lot of college credit. Um, and then when I asked her about athletics, she says, I think athletics is a reflection of the drive and competition and spirit that is so ingrained in the culture of our school. Our students can be at the highest level academically, musically, theatrically and athletically. It is amazing how championship level programs have happened to our school in the past five to ten years from robotics to STEM to FBLA to sports to music theater etc. And she believes that athletics are extension of the classroom. So many life lessons are learned on the field or on the court and I believe that the culture of our school and community embraces the same mindset and rallies around our athletics which I have definitely seen when I went to high school. Um, our field hockey team was really successful. We went to the state finals three years in a row, and the community support was unreal. Um, one person that I interviewed as well was my grandma, and she taught first grade at our elementary school, and she taught since the 70s in the school district, and then she retired um, right after my first grade year. But she had um, Christy as one of her first students, which I thought was kind of cool after she came back um, after having kids and taking a little bit of a break. But when I asked her about academics and what it was like when she was there, she said, Palmyra Academics have a great rep for excelling. They did very well in recent years in state testing. We pioneered reading and writing techniques at the young level, making Palmyra well represented, which I thought was really cool. She said other schools started to adapt what they were doing their first grade classrooms, um, teaching young kids how to read and learning how to write, which was really neat. Um, and then when I asked her about athletics, she said, I think athletics go a long way in the community support. When team members get involved in the community efforts, the community is more likely to support, which I agree with. Um, we used to do a lot of volunteer work in the community, and then people would come out to our games and support, or like, willing to donate for new uniforms or improvements to the fields, which was really neat. So despite the picture, um, he was my uh, math teacher for 
algebra two in high school, and then I also played field hockey with his daughter. This is Todd Knoll. He graduated from Palmyra in the early 80s, and his kids um, are currently in the school system, and he teaches math at Palmyra High School. And when I asked him about academics, he said, we provide a strong academic program. Our students perform at the highest levels on state assessment tests and AP tests. Academic teams have competed at state and national levels, such as like our STEM club, our robotics club have done really well in recent years. And then when I asked him about athletics, he said athletic offerings are diverse and provide athletes with opportunity to compete at local district and state levels. Many athletes continue to compete after graduating from PAHS, which is true. Um, a lot of our teams at least qualify for districts every year, and most times um, they make it to states. Um, we have a lot of people who sign on to play either D1 or D2 or D3 sports. For my last interview, I decided to interview Jim Kreiser, who is a family friend of ours, but he also graduated from Palmyra in the early 90s. And then he is now a school board member, and he also has kids in the school district. And when I asked him about academics, he said we have some of the highest test scores and rankings academically in the state. Further, we achieve this with a very low spend per student. We have a highest academic ranking in our two county region with one of the five lowest cost per student ratios. This is a tremendous achievement. We have a strong academic performance in metrics, but we are at risk of losing quality and experienced teachers as neighboring districts are pulling our teachers away recently with higher salary incentives. Um, I have seen a lot of teachers leave um, the school because of pay, and I think after interviewing uh, Mr. Knoll and Coach Costello, um, they would like to see a little bit more teacher compensation. Um, it's just something that Palmyra lacks, but a lot of teachers still decide to stick with the school district after being successful with um, test scores and stuff like that. And then with he, his opinion on athletics, he said it's crucial that these experiences and life lessons, as well as things you learn in practice in athletic competition, that can simply never be taught in a classroom. Teamwork, commitment, overcoming adversity, managing ups and downs of wins and losses, etc. Overall, um, a lot of common themes I've seen with interviewing these four people and also talking to my sister who's a current student. And from my experience, Palmyra has a very high level of a academics and a high level of athletics. Um, and each year they only seem to get better and better and better. Um, so with that, we have a lot of success within our high school, a lot of support from the community, and we are setting standards high with caring educators.